Hi, Dr. Martin Rutherford here. And today's question is, what are your thoughts about GMOs being a huge contributor to the rise of autoimmunity? If the food, this is the rest of the question, if the food we ingest is seen as a foreign, as foreign by the immune system, wouldn't it make sense that these Franken foods would trigger the autoimmune response? So that's a, that's a good question. It's a great question because it's a, it's a question that we struggled with early on. Everybody in kind of what I call the dark ages of autoimmunity and the dark ages of chronic pain were looking for the, the answer and it was parasites were gonna be the answer and GMOs were gonna be the answer, heavy metals were gonna be the answer and Lyme was gonna be the answer and I've seen bar virus was gonna be the answer and, and on and on and on. And so it turns out that none of them were the answer but all of them could potentially have uh, and a, be a player in a person's autoimmune problem. So if I had 100 people come in here with Hashimoto's or 100 people who come in here with fibromyalgia and if you genuinely have fibromyalgia, I guarantee you, you have an autoimmune problem. Uh, but it can all be different. Every, everyone could be different. So GMOs definitely can be a huge contributor. Your, your assessment that if it comes into the system, and, and it's seen as a foreign antibody, you know, foreign by the immune system and antibodies are gonna be made to it, uh, is correct. There's more to it than that, uh, depending on the foods. Uh, the, the, I, I do, I, I have become, I have come to embrace the idea of the, um, of the uh, fertilizers and the, and the uh, Roundup and, and, and those types of chemicals being uh, uh, being a part of it. Uh, when you get to gluten, the gluten, it's, it's, it's a sticky protein, so the gluten actually um, damages the uh, inside of the of, of intestines. Uh, so it, it, it's a part of it. There's, there's, uh, it, if, 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 if it depends on how compromised the patient is as to how much those foods actually will contribute to creating immune response or, or go as far as creating a, a chemical sensitivity. Um, people who are walking around who don't have autoimmunity, I would say that the GMOs are not creating the autoimmunity but I would say they, but once the person has developed an autoimmunity, I would say they're definitely a perpetuating factor to the autoimmunity. So that's quite a topic. It's, it's a topic I probably could spend a couple of hours on. But I think that kind of um, encompasses the, the, the general basics of what, of what you're asking. So uh, should you avoid GMOs if you have an autoimmune problem? I, maybe the gist of that question. The answer would be yes. The answer would be you definitely would want to eat fresh fruits, fresh, fresh vegetables, the old grass-fed beef, and, and bite the bullet and, and do that. Uh, and that. That brings you into the gray area of, well, can I go to this store and buy non-organic food and so on and so forth. You can, but you would better be better off with a confirmed autoimmunity. You would be better off staying away from the GMOs.